has to be, it has to be understood that, that looking for mass is an attempt on their part to explain gravity. Yeah. Um, because for, for them, for these scientists, classical scientists, uh, who operate in, in the material, uh, or only in the material universe, for them, gravity is a function of mass. And Wright himself was, I believe, working on a negative gravitational right. function. Uh, he was working as, on as, as, negative gravity. As an organotic yeah. uh, a function, a function and, of organ energy. And of course, and so, I'm sorry, I'm and, sorry. And, and so these scientists have to look for mass because they don't recognize um, an energetic function. No, they can't and detect good. it with their instruments. Uh, uh, organ energy is energy before matter, mass. And uh, nuclear energy is energy uh, after ma matter is, uh, is exploded. Now, so. Uh, also, if you remember in that article, associated with that article, was, was a statement that Einstein had initially prepared a number of papers in uh, which he felt he withdrew from publication, earlier papers before the final publication of the, the breakthrough papers on relativity, in which he came to different conclusions. I mean, Einstein at one point in his career had. <coughs> much more in line with what was known as ether, the theory of the ether or the sense of the universe as a yeah. madness. And then con consciously, and in the new correspondence that's now being available, made very, very clear decisions for various reasons to withdraw papers and findings that he felt would not be accepted in the mainstream of physics. Uh, now, of course, some of those papers, in light of the material that's coming out from the new um, material from the Hubble, are being looked at again as possibly having more relevance than was assumed back at the point in which relativity theory became the dominant um, uh, sort of coffin, uh, nail in the coffin of e ether. <coughs> but you know, 90% of mass, uh, for mass they can't account for. I think it was Hentfeld or someone else who was the executive of Einstein's estate after Einstein died. No, Einstein uh, uh, was just a... He was the executive of Einstein's estate, and he did go back to the East uh, region block thinking. This was a report that they put uh, No, that was on Einstein. Yeah. No, but he was not an executor. He was a... He was... He was I, I, I just explained it. No, no, I know, but he was also... He also was appointed executive of Einstein. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Or he, no, no, I didn't... Well, Helen Dukas went back to Europe, too. Whoever was the executive. Function of our gun. It's correct. And they can keep looking for the mass, that 90% missing mass, well, and they'll that, never find it. Well, that, that, that's it. I mean, uh, our gun energy uh, can only be detected by. We'll call it something else. But the point is, the reason they're looking for the mass is because they believe mass is responsible for all gravitational right. effects. Yeah, but yeah. If they're incorrect in that assumption, and right. there's some other explanation for the motion of the bodies in the sky universe, then it would prove, it might show that they're, they're wrong about how much mass they never, they never, uh, well maybe <coughs> they do ask, where does where did mass come from originally? Well, some will say it was there, you know? And uh, with Dr. Reich said, of course, all mass uh, is a function of organ energy. So, it's I, not, it's I remember one time I said, <laughs> where does organ energy come from? He says, let's not get into that. <laughs> But it's not commonly held that mass precipitates from energy? No. 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 Uh, 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 mass is a, uh, uh, a frozen energy. I mean, you know, energy particles attract each other, fuse, and it becomes mass. And so it would precipitate from mass. I'm, I'm oh, sorry, well. from energy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I see. I didn't know. I thought but, you said. Uh, but that's not commonly 
that's not commonly held. Oh, no, no. Uh, no, I don't know. Does anybody know uh, if uh, they've given any hypothesis or it's all uh, As to where it comes from? Or, uh, or, or if ma a mass got given, uh, so-called? Well, uh, in, in, in more and more in cosmology, uh, the top cosmologists are beginning, I mean, you see Origins constantly beginning to speculate on right. the that there is a, a god right. or a god who left behind it, which is very consistent with Mike's point that when, when mechanistic science mechanistic thinking reaches a, a point where it cannot explain it within its, its particular conceptual frame, that then the only solution is, is mysticism. Uh, yeah. Well, and, and that the, the most the most atheistic mystical the most atheistic scientific <coughs> operator will eventually if pushed far enough okay. have to have to speculate or at least postulate the possibility that God well, is all religions, all religions, when you start pushing them in the discussion, for example, Catholic, or Catholic religion, uh, about uh, the Virgin Mary, the, uh, the birth, and everything else, finally they said, I remember I was speaking to Monsignor one time, he says, it, I, I accept it on faith. So it's the same thing. Uh, was uh, mass always uh, there? You know, it's like saying I, we accept it on faith. You know, but they're still trying to, um, still trying to explain or interpret uh, gravity and electromagnetism too. You know, what's the function of it? What do you think uh, would have made Einstein so susceptible? Well, it, apparently Einfeld was qu quite a learned and uh, well-established physicist. But uh, uh, Einstein, uh, I guess he used it for that purpose. And, he, and Einstein was, uh, of course, uh, Einstein had to leave, uh, leave uh, the, uh, the Nazis and everything and escaped, you know. But uh, so therefore, the enemy of my enemy is uh, my friend. And um, Einstein was also involved at that time in the, uh, in the nu in nuclear yeah, yeah. program. And I think they had an absolute secrecy on that. But they tried to, or they were supposed oh, to. Oh, they were, they were pretty sick. Uh, maybe that was a factor in it that he was advised not to get involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 That's an idea, yeah. There, there's another factor which I'm not sure is mentioned in, in the correspondence, but it has to do with, uh, with the second law of thermodynamics. If, yeah. if, if Reich's findings are correct, right. then the second law of thermodynamics has to be overthrown. Right. Now, for somebody, entropy, the idea, the kind of entropy, the idea the universe is running down. Both systems tend to go in the direction of more entropy, and the only way you can maintain a temperature difference between two parts of space would be by some kind of energy coming in from outside the system. And otherwise, there would be a, the two temperatures would eventually equalize. Right. It's classical yeah. physics, right. which I'm not an expert on. But yeah. You know what the second law of the universe is running, the universe is running down. So and for Einstein to, to uh, affirm Reich's findings, as he originally said, would have been revolutionary. And he then would have had to rethink physics altogether. Right. He would have been challenged from every corner of this. Well, in the full, in full reading of the, the, the case notes on the affair, which were finally published, or in, in, in not, not published, they were made, they were made available. And, you know, Reich says, and Einstein in their discussion said, if this is right. correct, you know, we have to go, we have to re, we have to rethink all of contemporary. Right. So uh, I'm just raising the question as to what extent, you know, Einstein may have felt threatened on that account. Because to accept the finding it would have been to challenge his whole conception of, of, of physics, and he—I don't think he well, was in a position. Well, 
Well, uh, actually, Eric, or Eric, emotionally you, to, to deal with uh, that. Eric, you, you know, well, look at the, uh, not the first time in history of science when those uh, st uh, established uh, were killing it with Copernicus with the church, you know, in Galileo. And you say, well, that was all mystical religion. But it was no different then. Everybody wants to protect their uh, ballywhack, even though, well, remember, um, remember the last time I mentioned when uh, our lawyer, Mr. Green, uh, went to, uh, he, he was a lawyer in Jersey, and he uh, represented the pharmaceutical industry in Jersey, and um, in many cases. And uh, he got involved with our, our organ therapy because his daughter had been quite sick, I won't mention the diagnosis. And she got, got into treatment with uh, Dr. Baker and was helped quite a bit. And uh, so when the government uh, uh, issued the first complaint against Dr. Reich, we hired Mr. Green. And he, he agreed to uh, help Dr. Reich. Anyhow, at one time there was a American Association of the Pharmaceutical Industry in uh, Jersey, Atlantic City. And Mr. Green went to it, and he knew the president of the Pharmaceutical Association. And just very naively said, uh, I heard about this guy, Dr. Reich, and his accumulator. Uh, have you heard about it? Oh, yes, we heard about it. What do you think about it? Oh, it's a lot of crap. But I'll tell you, if, we, if, it, if it did work, as he says it worked, he said we would kill it. It would kill us. That, <laughs> word by, by word for word. So, you know, uh, people all, everybody's a conservative. They want to consider what they got. <laughs> I think also historically in terms of Einstein, what's often not understood at the time that Reich Many people even at that time, possibly even Dr. Reich, didn't know. At the time that he made his initial contact with Einstein, Einstein was already essentially under attack in modern physics uh, in terms of the later, the later work after the initial work on relativity and was beginning to be considered, so in, 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 in quotes, while he had become a celebrity and a public figure in mainstream physics, he was already constantly being questioned on, on, on directions he was taking in terms of his later work. And so it well might have been a, 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 a reticence to be publicly identified with anything as controversial a, a, as this, a, a, you know, in the sense that he had more, you know, he felt in some ways he had more trouble th th than he needed. So I think that there were a lot of uh, factors probably mitigating against uh, his throwing his weight behind that. Yeah, but, but, well, I just, uh, but at the same time, Dr. Reich was the first one to acknowledge that Einstein were, were contributed a lot to the so let's not <coughs> let's not do what the plague does, you know, tear down. He did, but in this particular case it was No, I, I think th to me I thought the, the one of the most telling statements in there was Reich's Dr. Reich's final statement saying that all you had to do was to offer me the right. simple courtesy of right. saying I can't be involved in this yeah. or I, I, I no longer wish to pursue this, right. which he didn't do. And that, that was, in a sense, characterologically, I think, the issue that was really uh, Which I, the, the thing that I find interesting is that there is a, I, I see sort of a long article in this few days' times about the, 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 uh, the universe and, and the temple, but uh, uh, there are several very contradictory things that have come to their attention. Number one, that the universe can't possibly be near as old as it needs yeah. to be in order to prove the Big Bang Theory. And they, they, they're, they're juggling these two things, but they never stop and say, well, maybe if there's something wrong with my initial premise, but they keep on thinking you know, the, the same way, even though it can't possibly be right because of the contradictions. Yeah. Well, uh, go ahead. I'd like to draw people's attention to a series of articles 